Old Port in Montreal, Canada. Beautiful St. Lawrence River and there are so many phenomena to be amazed of here. First is this bird and the second one is uh, waves. And what else can you think of than viscosity? Whenever you see these waves, that should cross your mind. Waves on water are extremely difficult to physically quantify and uh, quite often uh, teachers tend to misinterpret them. They would tell you, oh, a classical example of a wave is wave uh, on a river or ocean and while indeed that is a wave, it's one of the most complicated waves and therefore it shouldn't be the first example that crosses your mind. Another thing that I would like to discuss is the flow of St. Lawrence River. In this case, the river is flowing from right to left. And uh, you can see that behind this peninsula, the river is uh, flowing very fast, whereas this part over here, the water is very calm. Now, if you look carefully, you will see that the central part of the flow, let's say somewhere there, is flowing much, much faster than the river that is close to this uh, calm water. And that is consequence of viscosity, of course, because this slow water over here tends to slow down fast flow in the river. And uh, that propagates uh, along the width of the river. And of course, the smallest influence of this column water over here is in the center of the St. Lawrence River. The same happens from the shore on the other side, but it's not very easy to see from here. So my point is, if we would analyze the profile of velocity along the width of the river, it would be parabolic. The highest velocity would be along the central part of the river, and the smallest velocity would be close to the shore and close to this calm water over here. It's absolutely beautiful here. There is so much physics, so much water, sky, atmosphere. People are enjoying, having great time. And uh, indeed, I could also stare at the water and the sky for hours, which is exactly what I'm actually doing. I hope you are having a great day, until next video, goodbye.